Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here. Hello. Welcome. My name is Tao Today I am doing a crystal collection video just kind of like an overview of all the crystals that I have like my favorite ones and I will do a little bit about each crystal when I show it So that way if you guys are like new into your crystal journey and you want to learn a little bit more about crystals this would be an excellent place to do so because I'll give you a little bit of information. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you, give you a little crystal tour. So I recently, probably within the past five, six months, started getting into crystals because I was really lacking with self-confidence and I struggle a lot with anxiety and depression. So I figured that having the crystals and their energy around me would help me a lot with especially going out on my own or even with people. I still struggle with that, but it helps me a lot having my crystals with me. I don't feel as anxious and I actually haven't felt too depressed since I got all my crystals. Anyways, before I show you guys all my crystals, make sure that you guys subscribe because a lot of you watch my videos and you aren't subscribed. So freaking subscribe, bro. I wanna hit 1K before the summer so that way your girl can monetize her videos and like move into a nice bouge apartment and um, put out more quality content for you guys, get a better camera. I'm just manifesting all these things. <laughs> subscribe follow me on instagram but let's get on with this video before i show my crystals actually i thought i would just show the little like altar well i mean like which people call it an altar i just call it an altar because it's like i don't know what else to call it like a table with all my crystals on it and some like herbs and stuff i don't know anyways i put my sage here i try and sage once a week just to like Bring good vibes, get rid of the bad energy in my room, kind of set myself up for the week. We've got some pink Himalayan pink salt here. This is dried lavender. It just makes your room smell so fresh and amazing. And I thought it would be kind of like a good addition onto like this little area since it's so earthy and stuff. I've got rainwater here, another like a little earthy thing and you can charge your crystals with it. Some crystals can't go in water though. So then I have this little book ender or shelf ender this is actually meant for a shelf i believe like this and it was gold when i got it but i painted it white and i think i got it for like a dollar two dollars at our local thrift store and i just think it really ties in well with this little tabletop i obviously moved all my crystals over to where i'm going to show you which is why they're not here but usually i just kind of like throw them around here and this is just on my little clothing makeup skincare shelf so i've got like bins of like pillowcases and you know random stuff in here and they just kind of sit on top of it with the sunlight coming in from over there and it points directly at the little altar table thing and um yeah my crystals just really like it here it's nice and bright you know just gets positive energy all over my room so the first set of crystals that I have is Rawway Quartz. Now I'm only 90% sure that this is what they are. I've had them in my room for years and I never really, I guess, looked into it or really knew what they were. It looks a lot like heat treated amethyst on the ends but I'm pretty sure it's raw white quartz. So this just purifies negative energy and I believe I found them up north in Ontario. So I don't know, let me know if you know any more about crystals. This is clear quartz. This can basically transform physical energy into positive crystal energy and it can be used to focus and amplify the energies in other crystals and it also stores extra energies that you may be admitting or your crystals may be admitting throughout the day and it is associated with the crown chakra as well this is a quartz so you can use quartz to make elixirs so that would be putting your crystal in water letting it soak for several hours or a day or two and then you can drink it it is safe to drink 
The next one is smoky quartz. This relieves tension and stress and it really fends off negative energies that may come your way. It is excellent for protection, so carrying it around your neck on a necklace or ring, whatever jewelry, even in your car, just putting it in the car is excellent and it is associated with the root chakra. The next one is rose quartz. Now this is for feminine um, energy and really supporting feminine energy as well as just giving unconditional love it dissolves emotional wounds and it is just very closely associated with your heart which is why it is excellent for the heart chakra the next one is amethyst now this is an excellent crystal to help with your creativity healing and staying focused it is also excellent for helping your meditation and it really just holds high spiritual energies and you can really get into a deep meditative state using your amethyst so that's why it is associated with the third eye and the crown chakra next we have selenite just like rose quartz it is excellent for women and it really works well with women's hormones and emotions and it just brings harmony and support and it also increases fertility and attracts love into your life it can also charge other crystals and it is associated with the crown chakra Next is black kyanite. So basically this inspires loyalty and fairness with other people in either a relationship or with random people that you see. It aids in damaged relationships by promoting good communication and it is associated with the root chakra. All right, so next we have sliced agate. So this promotes inner stability and maturity within yourself and it's great for moms who are suffering with postpartum depression and it is excellent for all chakras. Now this is a agate chunk and then the other one is an agate slice. So there are two different versions of agate. The next is Botswana agate and this is for comforting and protecting those who are lonely and it's ideal for those who are really sensitive or have a lot of anxiety and it is associated with the root chakra. So those are my three types of agate that I have. Each of them obviously holds a different purpose but they are all in the same crystal family. Next I have onyx and this is excellent for protection so you just want to hold it with you wherever you go whenever you leave or even inside you can put it in the corner of your room and it just keeps your instincts sharp and it deflects negative energies and it is very closely associated with the root chakra and it makes sure it grounds you and protects you Next we have obsidian. This is great for inner discovery. So finding out your inner truths as well as highly protecting you from negative people. It's a really grounding crystal and it is associated with the root chakra. Obsidian is actually made from lava. So it's just a really amazing crystal to have in your collection. Next is honey calcite and this is a cleanser and an energy amplifier for other crystals as well as yourself. It also increases your feeling of self-worth and it is just an excellent crystal to have if you have any self-doubts about yourself or your body image, um, anxiety with your body or your mind, and it is associated with the third eye, solar plexus, and root chakra. Next we have emerald and this is used for inspiration, compassion, and unconditional love. It holds the power of manifestation so you're going to want to use this if you're doing any sort of manifesting and it is very closely associated with your heart chakra because it wants to know what you truly want in life and what you truly desire. 
Next, we have blue fluorite, and this clears negative energy from a room. It is also excellent for any students because it clears mental fog and confusion, and it really helps absorb new information that you're trying to learn, and it's an excellent tool that you can have when you're doing a test or you're studying for a big test, so I highly recommend this for any student. It is also associated with the heart chakra, and it is so pretty, but it cannot be put in water. All right, next we have Mukite Jasper, and this helps with self-confidence and self-worth, and it does this by realizing and helping you realize your full potential in life, and it assists you in making decisions based off of your gut feelings and your gut instincts, which is why it's a very grounding crystal, and it is associated with your root and sacral chakra. All right, so next we have green aventurine, and this is the stone of opportunity. It is the luckiest stone to have when you're manifesting, and it is also associated with the heart chakra because it wants to know what you deeply aspire to have and what you are truly wanting when you're manifesting. I also have blue aventurine, and this is great for overcoming bad habits, whether you're a smoker or a drinker. This is awesome for overcoming those things, and it helps helps build leadership within a group setting. It is associated with the third eye chakra and the throat chakra as well. Okay, next I have Rhodonite, and this is the stone of love and just self-worth. So it helps nurture your inner self and empowers you to reach your full potential. It is an emotional healer and it works very well with rose quartz. It helps you calm down and just become centered in times of stress and it is associated with the heart chakra. Next, we have Bloodstone, and this is protection against verbal and physical threats. It's excellent for your immune system, and it purifies your blood, liver, kidney, and bladder. It is a very grounding crystal as well, and it is associated with the root chakra. Next, we have Jade. This blesses everything it touches, and it's also known as the Dream Stone because it does this. It also recharges your mind when touching it, so if you're ever feeling down and you're feeling like low confidence, low self-esteem, low energy, you just touch it and you feel so much better, and it is associated with the heart chakra. So, Red Jasper, it alleviates stress by reconnecting with earth's grounding energies and it helps with vivid dream recalls so if you're ever wanting to do some dream work this is the crystal for you and it is also associated with the root chakra next we have sodalite and this is the ideal crystal for sensitive and anxiety prone people because it holds so much stability and it just really provides an emotional balancing effect which is why it is associated with the throat chakra because it helps what you say and what you put out into the world Next, we have citrine. Now, this is raw citrine, which is why it looks clear. Heat treated citrine is a white with yellow tip on it, but this is natural. So it is optimal for manifestation and imagination, and its energy awakens creativity and encourages new beginnings. Next, we have moonstone, and this helps discover hidden personal truths, carries the moon's energy, and it helps with dream work, and it is very closely associated with the crown chakra. Next up, we have tiger eye, and this is used for luck and attracting a steady flow of money or income, and it is good for balancing emotional problems in families or a relationship, and it is associated with the root, sacral, and solar plexus chakra. Next, we have Amazonite, which empowers self-discovery of your personal truths and beliefs, and it gives you the freedom to express your emotions and thoughts, and it is associated with the throat chakra because it encourages you to speak your mind, speak your truth, and speak up for what you believe in. Next, we have watermelon tourmaline, and this removes and cleanses blockages from the heart chakra, and it just removes all the insecurities that you may be feeling, whether it's with your body or any mental insecurities that you have, and that's why it's associated with 
the heart chakra finally we have aquamarine which is actually my favorite crystal so it protects travelers when you're around water so if you're going on a cruise or you're just going out for a boat ride i highly recommend you carry aquamarine with you but most importantly it builds courage to overcome speaking in front of people and it just overcomes that anxiety of being around people in a group setting so good for people with social anxiety and it is associated with the throat chakra all right everybody i really hope that you guys enjoyed this crystal collection tour video i really really had so much fun making this video for you guys so if you liked it please let me know in the comments because i will make more crystal and like tarot videos in the future but let me know if you guys like it um give it a thumbs up subscribe please and follow me on instagram tiktok pinterest spotify everything you know everything's linked down below as always i hope that you have an amazing day whenever you're watching this and i will see you guys in my next video bye